So guys, this little seat nut with that black C-clamp is the key to taking this solo setup on this ST to a two-up setup, which is what I want to do. But often people can't figure out how to get this thing in there without taking this all apart or taking it to your dealership. Guys, my name is Rick and this is the HD Vibe Channel. In today's video, I'm actually going to show you a hack as to how to get this in there to convert this from solo to two up or if you ever happen to lose this while you're out on a ride this hack will also work for that as well to replace that and we're also going to look at some two up seats and I want you guys to let me know what you think is the best looking two up seat for this Street Glide ST and we'll get into all that right after this. That's right guys, this seat nut can be a puzzler. Um, I've often heard people where they actually have this fall out of their bike and they actually end up having to take it to a dealership to have them put this seat nut back into their fender so they can get their seat properly clamped down. Well in today's video I'm going to show you how to save yourself a bunch of money and get this on yourself with a very complex and very expensive tool. I'm just kidding and that is actually a zip tie. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to take the saddlebag off so that we have access to the fender. Okay, so I've got the right side saddlebag off. It really doesn't matter which one you take off. I took the one off on the high side just for ease of getting in there. So the next thing we need to do is actually pop this little tab out. And you can use your fingernail or maybe a plastic pry tool. But obviously do not use a screwdriver because you'll probably mess up your paint. Okay, so with my pry tool, that just popped right off there, no problem. You could probably do that with your fingernails as well, but I felt more comfortable using the pry tool. Right, so here is the fender nut uh, assembly that we need to put in there. So you can see I've got this C uh, clip, which is actually sort of a plasticky rubber. So I'm actually gonna slip that off, and then I'm gonna show you the tool that I'm gonna use to slip this through the hole in the fender that will actually allow me then to connect uh, a two-up seat into this nut. All right, so that uh, C clamp is off of there, off the nut. And here is the tool I'm gonna use, a zip tie. So this one is a little bit, this is a longer zip tie. Um, this one's probably eight to 10 inches long. So you're just actually gonna slip it through the nut and it will hold on there. So that is the tool that you need. No need to drop the tire, no need to take everything apart to be able to get this on there, just a zip tie. Keep your C-clamp handy. And then what you're gonna do is just feed this zip tie up under your fender, around the tire, and get it into the hole that's already in the back of your fender back here. All right, so after just a little bit of fishing it around, I actually got the zip tie to come through. And then you just turn that seat nut into the right position. And it has, just a, it has a little oblong space in it. Just make sure you get it lined up correctly. Once you get it aligned, um, it slips right in. And then you just take your little seat clamp and slide it in from the back and make sure it's secure so that you don't drop that nut. And now that nut is in my fender and ready for a two up seat. Once you get that seat nut secure with that seat clamp and you're all set, then just pull your zip tie out and save this very technical tool for the next time. Okay, so now that we got the seat nut in the fender, now I'm ready to try out some two up seats and we obviously have the solo saddleman seat here. This is the Dominator. I've been running this seat for almost a year now um, because I took off the stock seat almost immediately after I got the bike and went with this Dominator. But now what I want to do is show you some options of other saddleman seats. Now I want you guys to leave comments down below. And let me know which seat you think will be best. I've got a new Saddleman Road Sofa and a new stitch design that I want to show you. Or I've got the Tour Step Up or the SDC seat, which is pretty much like a step up. So let me show you those. I'm going to first start with that Saddleman Road Sofa that I just recently got from Saddleman um, and let you guys take a look at that and see what you think. All right, so here's the first seat that I'm actually going to try on. Again, I want you guys to leave comments down below. Let me know what you think. So this is the Saddleman. Uh, road sofa. This has the new honeycomb design. I don't even know 
if these are actually on the Saddleman website yet, but they just sent this one to me uh, to give it a try and show you guys what this is all about. So it's got kind of carbon fiber through here and then the, the, the smooth through here. And again, these road sofas, the ultimate touring seat, the most comfortable seat for those really long days um, out on the bike. It does have the gel core technology through here as well as for your passenger. So let me slip this on the bike and we'll take a look at it and see what you think. All right, so I'm getting this lined up, getting that in there. Um, the other thing these settlement seats do come with is this rubber washer or gasket, if you want to call it. And that'll go over your seat nut back here um, to protect your paint from the actual uh, connecting point on the back of the bike. And then you just kind of press that into place. And then I don't have my screw with me right now, but if you have your seat screw, you just screw that in. So that is the Saddleman Road Sofa and what it looks like on this ST. It's a little bit wider um, than what I've been running on the other seats. I do have another Road Sofa that is heated. This one is the non-heated version. But the difference between this one and my other one is this one actually is slotted for the backrest. So this is really set up for the ultimate in touring. So let me show you how these backrests go in. The driver backrest goes in these Saddleman seats. You don't have to bolt anything onto the bike itself. Everything is actually built into the seat and you just slide that backrest in there. So here's the backrest, uh, same again, honeycomb pattern, um, carbon fiber sort of look through here and then sort of the smooth uh, leather look through there. And you just kind of get it lined up in this slot that's in the seat. Let me feel where that's at. And then you get it in there and you just push it down to the level. There's three notches on that. Um, and then you can also adjust the angle sort of back or forth um, on these as well. And it's pretty simple. You just loosen up. There's a, a nut in the front of this. And then you just move it into the position and you then tighten that nut down and you're set. So that's how the Saddleman Road Sofa with the backrest would look on this ST. Not a bad look. Um, and again, I've never ridden with backrest until I took the Sturgis trip last summer. Um, when you're doing those long days, long miles, this backrest really, really keeps you in a good rider position and is great for those long days. Here's a little different view of that uh, tour step up. Again, this is all stitched in black. Like with all these Saddleman seats, you can pick your stitching um, that you can get like on the logo, the Saddleman, or this sort of top stitch, uh, you can get that. A couple of the seats I have, actually I have silver stitch, which I really like with the white bike, or it goes with the other two bikes that are sort of more of the red and black uh, family. But this one looks really good. Um, again, one of my favorite seats uh, in the Saddleman lineup is this Tour Step Up. So now I've got the SDC uh, Pro Gripper seat on here. This is sort of your ultimate performance bagger look seat. Um, again, very similar construction to the Step Up, except um, this has the lattice stitch. It has carbon fiber in here. This one I did order with the, uh, the backrest that is removable. And then there's actually a flap that goes over that to cover it. Um, should you not want to run without that, but I actually like the backrest on this one. Um, again, this is a gel core technology here. It doesn't have it here. It has gripper here to hold you in the seat. Um, as well as back up here with the SDC logo on it. This is one of the first Saddleman seats that I actually purchased. Place a stock seat on my uh, Road King Special, my 2019, because I was starting to have that uh, tailbone problem. Uh, and these SDC seat really solved that problem for me. And since I purchased this seat as my first Saddleman seat, I haven't looked back. Saddleman is the only seat that I run on any of the three bikes, um, just because they work really well for me. Really cool look, probably not great for really, really long days. Although I have uh, heard and seen people um, ride long days on this. This one actually does sit you back a little bit farther. It's probably an inch to an inch and a half farther back than the standard reach uh, step up seat. Um, so it does push you back a little bit away from the tank if you like that. Again, very narrow in here like all Saddleman seats so you can get those feet on the ground. All right guys, so that is how you get a seat nut and convert your solo seat setup bike to a two up or with this zip tie, you can fix your two up seat if you happen to lose that nut and that C clamp clip falls off there. You don't have to take it to the dealer. Just follow this free HD Vibe video, get you the best eight to 12 inch long zip tie, slip that seat nut over there, fish it up there, put that clamp over it, and man, you are set. 
and now I can run two up or solo on the ST and man what seat do you think looks best again I went for that road sofa uh, we looked at first with that honeycomb design and new design at Saddleman if you're interested in that I would suggest call Saddleman because I don't think they're actually on their website yet um, then we went to the tour step up and check that out and then finally with this SDC Pro Gripper seat really cool look I really like this again this one's going to give you a little bit more room back here uh, from the tank to the seats a little bit probably uh, inch and a half uh, longer or setback than would you be on your standard reach but all these super comfortable all have the gel core technology um, and I really really uh, enjoy and only run Saddleman seats um, so again we're converted from solo setup to two up I can always go back to that solo setup so now I have the option I can go solo if I want to look have that look or I can go performance look or I can go ultimate touring with that road sofa so guys, if you got some value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider sharing this with your friends, the like-minded individuals who may have a seat nut problem and want to either convert or replace without having to take off the wheel, can find this video and check it out. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button right down here. That really helps out the channel. And when you do subscribe for the first time, please leave a comment down below saying I subscribe so I can personally reach out. Thank you for supporting the channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon and select all so you do get notified every time I do put out new content. I have over 200 videos on tips, tricks, rides, reviews, and installs on these Harley-Davidson Touring Motorcycles. There's bound to be something to help you with a project save you some money with some discount codes and I also have a playlist called motorcycle skills to help you with some riding tips um, so guys with that I want to leave you with this thought life is short get out and ride the bike thanks for stopping by and we'll see you on the next one bye now